Hello, welcome to the next part of this learning. Today we will be actually doing natural disaster. By the way, this slideshow was created by Arjun Sanoj Raj. So let's get to it. A tornado is a rotating funnel shaped cloud that extends from a thunderstorm to the ground with whirling winds that can reach 300 miles per hour. This is a picture of the early formation and this is when it's fully complete. Facts about tornadoes. The damage path of tornadoes can be excess of 1 mile wide and 50 miles long. Tornadoes can occur by tropical storms and rotating thunderstorms are the best predictors of tornadoes. Tornadoes can occur in also in cold fronts. Tornadoes are mostly seen at 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. So, what is a flooding? Flooding is an overflowing of water that merges land use that is usually dry. This is the water when it's fully calm and this is when it's very violent and enters the earth. Facts about flooding is caused by spring thrust. Flooding are most common natural hazards in United States. Heavy rain can bring dangerous flash flooding. Flood is the second most dangerous disaster, and flood floods usually occur after six hours of heavy rain. What is a drought? A drought is a drought or drought is an event of crowded shortage in water supply. This is a place with no water, and this is a place with plenty of water and a high precipitation rain. Facts. Droughts refer to periods of low normal precipitations in an area or region. The longer the duration of drought, the more harmful it affects are on people. Which means the more it says drought, less plants will grow and the human life will be almost unstable. The next one. By decreasing crops yield, droughts can also lessen livestock capacity. Like if you have cows and you the cows eats grass and when it's drought none of those grows and all the cows and other animals who eat greens will eventually die off next one watering crops in agriculture is the, is the human activity that uses the most water worldwide watering crops needs water without them they will not grow so in a drought time many of the plants indoor plants will also die What is an earthquake? An uh, earthquake is a sound, sudden and violent shaking of the ground. You see on the top is a picture of a road before the thunderstorm. I mean, I'm sorry, the earthquake. But after, you can see it's a violent, destructed, uncapacitated road after the earthquake. What is an avalanche? A avalanche is is a mass of snow, ice, rocks falling rapidly down a mountainside. This is a picture of a mountain when it's very calm and nothing has done. This is a picture of downhill of a mountain after the, all the things had happened. Let's look at some facts for some avalanches. An avalanche occur when a layer of snow collapses and slides downhill. Avalanches are caused by four factors. A steep slope, a snow cover, a weak layer in the snow cover, and a trigger. A trigger could be anything from high winds or even humans pushing snow down or a high, highly sounds. The next one, the roads and railway tracks may be rerouted to radius risk. Sometimes the railroads and roads are near the mountains, so they cannot to reduce casualties. They actually change the route and redirect people so they won't be hurt. Avalanches can travel up to 90 kilometers per hour. These rocks coming from the feet, coming from the mountain is not that slow. It can get a very high speed and can if you get hit by it, you can get 
very in injured or even dead. After one hour, only one of three victims buried in the avalanche is found alive. The most common causes of death is suffocation, wounds, and hypothermia. In when you're in the snow, you sometimes there's no air, and if you have some wounds, the wounds will start feeding and that all those algae from the ice will cause that to get bad and die. Hypothermia it's a kind of disease when you have when your body temperatures goes down rapidly very fast and you first you faint then you die what is a mudslide a mud mudslide is a mass of mud or other earthly material that is falling or has fallen down a hillside or other slopes. This is a picture of a rope road that was before a land, mudslide. This is a picture of a road after the mudslide. You can see there's no destructions here, but as you can see, more than this 50% of the road over here is covered. So we'll, they need to do a big work to clear that. Let's look at some facts. Landslide occur when mass of rock, earth, or derbies move down a slope. Every year, landslides in the U.S. cause roughly 3.5 billion in damage and kill between 25 to 50 people. Casualties in the U.S. are primarily caused by rock falls, rock slides, or quick moving derbies. Some of the rock fall might be heavy and may crush you. The rock slides, you may actually go down with it if you, there's a steep. And the quick moving derby, so if a rock is coming very, or anything that's coming very fast and hits you, you may get a major brain injury or even die.